In this video I'm going to be showing you some ways you can add a vignette to your photos. I'll be using this picture for the first example and I'll leave links for the pictures I use in the description. So I just want to bring some more focus to the dog and a good way to do that is to add a vignette. Go to the filter studio, go to colours, turn on add live filters to make it a non-destructive layer and then click vignette. And then you can see these sliders come up. So the first slider is exposure. So you can choose either a dark or bright vignette. And I'm going to make mine dark so I'm dragging it all the way to the left. The next slider is hardness so you can choose how soft or hard the edges are. And then there's scale which controls the size of the vignette. So you can bring it in or out. And then there's shape, which just controls the shape of the vignette. In this picture, there's some bits that are very white and overexposed. And with the vignette on top, those bits are now grey, which doesn't look very nice. To fix this, go to the vignette layer and click on these three dots at the top. And then you can see these two boxes, which are the layer blend ranges. So the blend ranges allow you to specify how tonal values of a layer blend with the layers below. I'm clicking on the destination graph. And so then if I bring the highlights node down, you can see that grey colour disappear. And if I show you the before and after, you can see that the vignette is still being applied, but it's not affected the highlights in the picture. And because you've added the vignette as a live filter, you can double tap on the vignette and go back and edit it. Or if you want a darker vignette without messing with the highlights, you can just duplicate the vignette layer. An issue with adding the vignette filter is that you can't change the focal point. It works quite well with this picture because the dog was in the centre. And you can see with this next picture that the cat isn't in the centre, but I still want to draw focus in. And one way to do it is to add a pixel layer. Then go to the paintbrush tool and you can change the colour here. And it also doesn't have to be black. So there's some dark green in this picture. Use the colour picker tool and drag that over to select the dark green. I'm going to bring the hardness down to zero and make the brush bigger. And I'm painting where I want the vignette to go. And then I can change the opacity and the blend mode. Soft light is usually a good blend mode to use. The other way to do it is to add a fill layer. Change the colour in the colour studio. And I'm just going to change the colour to black for this one. And I'm adding a mask layer. And I'm bringing down the opacity of the fill layer just so I can see the picture underneath. I'm using the paintbrush tool with the colour on black and I'm making sure I'm on the mask layer and then I can just paint over the cat and that will remove the fill layer. And if you've made a mistake, you can change the colour to white and that will bring the fill layer back. And again, I can adjust the opacity and change the blend mode. And if you have any highlights in this picture that you don't want affected, you can click on the fill layer or the pixel layer and go to the destination graph and bring down the highlight node. 